you guys, my name is Lucy and welcome to my channel. Now I am in a bit of a different location today, that is for two reasons. Number one is I've actually moved back to London. So many of you guys actually joined me while I was out in Dubai for six months. But this is my London room, I am back in my room and it is so so nice to be back apart from the fact that I am currently in quarantine. But I have been vlogging my whole quarantine experience so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss that. And also I've decided to switch up my London background a little bit. I never used to film my videos here but I just was really not enjoying my current background. So we've moved over to my shelves, I'm actually standing because I can't sit in this space. But I hope you guys like it, let me know down below your thoughts on this background, if I should keep it, anything I should change would be greatly appreciated. For today's video I am actually going to be sharing with you guys 10 things that you can do before going back to drama school. Whether this is you're starting in first year, you're starting at a foundation course, you're maybe going to performing arts sixth form, or whether you are like me and you've not been at drama school for six months and you're about to go and start a new year. I am about to go into my third year at Erdang so these are just 10 things that I have been trying to do just to make myself prepared and ready for going into third year. So if you do enjoy this video please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. Also if you have any video requests please pop them down below in the comments. I love making videos that you guys are going to enjoy and without further ado let's get into the video. My first thing is to make sure that you exercise. Now whether this is doing home workouts or going to the gym do whatever is right for you. I'm currently doing home workouts as I'm in quarantine and honestly you can still get such a good workout in. Some of my personal favourites are Bobby's Bakery and Courtney Black workouts. They are amazing but it is super super important to exercise before you go to drama school because you're going to be dancing and exercising most probably every single day and if your body isn't used to that it's going to burn out super quickly. So if you can build up your stamina before you start I promise that it will really really help you out. Number two on the same vein is making sure that you stretch. I am currently trying to stretch for 20 minutes every single day for the two week lead up for going into third year. Again kind of like your fitness levels. If you stretch on the first day and you haven't stretched for months, you are going to ache for the next two weeks. I promise you. Yes, I don't really love stretching every day, but I know I will thank myself when I go back to college because I don't know about you guys, but the first day after I've not stretched in a really long time, I feel super flexible and I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, I'm amazing. And then I literally can't walk for two weeks. But I promise you, if you go through this pain before you start, then you will thank yourself when you're in classes and having to dance every day because your body will start to get used to it and it will just make your life a whole lot less painful. Number three is to try and see sing daily. Now even if you just do a five minute warm up and sing one song, honestly this is going to make a massive difference. Just like the rest of your body, your voice is a muscle and it needs to gain stamina. Now I don't know about you guys but before I went to drama school I only had one singing lesson for 45 minutes a week. So then when I started at drama school I got quite a shock from singing every single day. But if you just make sure to sing a little bit and often every single day then that will help to build up the stamina of your voice. Again so like your body it doesn't burn out when you start being more intense in your training. Number four, for singing, as well as building up the stamina of your voice, I think it's super important to have a couple of songs prepared. Now, I know a lot of you guys will probably have audition songs ready, so that is ideal, you can have them prepared. Just make sure to sing them a couple of times in the weeks leading up to before you start, because both when I started at GSA and when I started at Erdang, in the first week we were asked to bring any song that we enjoy singing for an acting through song class or for a singing tech class, just to let the teachers hear your voice and hear what you sound like. And usually they will tell you this in your induction week so then you don't want to be spending the whole of induction week stressing about the fact that you don't have a song. So if you can prepare a song in the lead up to before induction week then you will just have a much more relaxed and chilled time. Number five is make sure you have all your folders and stationery ready to go for the first day. This includes folders for your rep, notebooks, pens, pencils, rubbers etc. I actually have a what's in my bag for starting third year video coming very very soon so make Make sure to look out for that where I will talk about this sort of stuff more in detail but basically again you don't want to be rushing around in the first week thinking oh my gosh I don't have enough folders oh my gosh I don't have enough pencils blah 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 it's just an extra stress that you don't need I am all about eliminating stress when there is a change in my life so for example going to drama school is a massive change so just if you can be in control of as much of the situation as possible I promise you it would just make your life so much easier and much less stressful number six this is mainly for if you are starting a 
fresh, so going to a new school. I think it is super, super important to get connected with your new year group online. A lot of schools actually set up a Facebook page for your year group, but then your year group will generally set up a separate group chat. If you can connect with someone in your year and get into these group chats, it just makes life so much less scary, I think, when you start. It's so nice to be able to chat to your course mates before you start, and it's so amazing on social media how we can do this now. For example, when I started at GSA, I was living in Dubai, but one of my best friends in Dubai knew my current flatmate, Isabella, so then Isabella and I became friends, did foundation, and now we live together. Honestly, these connections just are so amazing, and it just makes it less daunting when you start. If you've been able to have a chat with people who are going to be on your course and started to get to know them. Tip number seven is start packing early. So whether you are moving to a new city to start a new school, you're moving into a new flat, or you're simply just coming back from being at home for six months, like myself, honestly, packing early is the key. If you are moving to a new school and a new area, a new flat, then I actually have packing lists on my website, which should really, really help you out. They will be linked down below in the description of this video, where I basically detail everything that you could possibly need to buy for your room and your student accommodation. Again, like everything else, you don't want to be rushing around at the last minute, trying to find out what you need to buy and what you've not got. Number eight, make sure that you have got all the kit that you're going to need for that year. So this is in terms of drama school clothing. So whether it's tap shoes, ballet shoes, character shoes, character skirt, I also have a list on this, which will be linked down below on my website. Honestly, you don't want to be rushing around at the last minute. And especially if a lot of people in your area are starting drama school, the shops may sell out of the kind of stuff that you're looking for. So for example, in London, there is a countless amount of students starting at drama school every September and they all need to buy the same thing. So just make sure that you get in there early so that you get your size and what you want and you're not having to wait until week three for when Block get your size of tap shoes back in store. So really, honestly, just do this in advance. Whether you even just order it online might make your life a bit easier if you don't live near any dance shops. Honestly, trust me, do it in advance because you don't want those shops to be sold out when you're trying to buy your kit. Number nine, again, if you're moving to a new area, I think it's super important to get to know your surroundings. So when I moved to London, I had never been to Angel before apart from for my Erdang audition. So my friends and I spent a couple of days just walking around Angel, sussing out where the supermarket was, where the shops were, the tube station, the bus stop, how we could get to everything we needed to get to. And honestly, it will just make your moving in experience a lot less scary because you're going to be more familiar with the area. We also did the walk from our flat to college before the first day. And that just was so much better because obviously when you're walking someone new for the first time, you're probably going to get lost and you don't want to be lost and stressed on your first morning and worrying about being late. So I would say if you can and you live in a reasonable enough distance from where you're moving to, go with your family, spend a day, go for lunch, have a little walk around. You don't need to spend loads of money. Literally just walk around and get to know the area. And finally, number 10 is make sure to spend time with friends and family. Now, of course, we've all been in lockdown for a very, very long time. So we haven't been able to see a lot of our friends and family. And trust me, when you start at drama school your life is going to get crazy busy you're going to make loads of new friends which is amazing but make sure to not forget about your friends and family back home so before you move and before you start make sure to put some time aside and spend it with them and i wish i could do that right now but i'm currently in quarantine but anyway yes that is tip number 10 and i think that is the most important one if you take anything from this video make sure that you spend time with your nearest and dearest before your life gets crazy busy and crazy exciting at drama school so guys that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed my top 10 tips of what to do before going back to drama school. If you did, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. If you guys have any tips you want to share, pop them down below in the comments. I love you guys so, so much. I hope to see you again in the future for some of my videos. So don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss them. And I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.